Welcome Commander. Today we will review the Elite Equipment Facility. This is an essential part of your city. It's important to know how to build your equipment to maximize all the buffs that come with each piece of equipment. At the core of your city equipment are these eight pieces. Like all things in Age of Origins, the equipment is color-coded to show the strength value. To be competitive in Age of Origins, I recommend upgrading your equipment to orange or purple. Here you can see the bonuses given to each equipment according to the color. Orange giving the strongest bonuses and white giving the weakest. Finally, along with the color-coded grade, you can also upgrade each piece of equipment by levels 1 through 6. Level 6 only being available once you unlock C35. Naturally, as you advance in levels, your equipment bonuses will increase per level. The color grade of your equipment also helps determine the overall value of your equipment bonuses. To maximize your bonuses, you'll want orange equipment, as you build towards level 6 equipment. Next, let's take a look at the components you will need to convert and upgrade your equipment. First, is Power Ore. Send a fleet daily to the power or mine to gather this component. From your equipment facility, you can see how much power ore you have accumulated. You can also check at each level, how much power ore is needed to create the piece of equipment, at that level. Along with power ore, you will need materials to create and upgrade your equipment. You can accumulate materials by killing zombies. Also, participate in events that give material chests. This is a good way to gain normal and superior materials. Of course, you can also purchase material chests as well as other components necessary to upgrade your equipment. To start constructing your equipment, you need to meld materials together to the desired color. If you are building purple equipment, then you need to meld up to purple. If you are building orange equipment, then you need to meld up to orange. It is possible to upgrade a piece of equipment to a higher color. In the game, this is called gambling. You are taking a chance on converting your equipment to a stronger color. Many players start to gamble and convert their level 3 and level 4 equipment up to orange. As you get higher in level, acquiring the pieces is very difficult. So it's better to convert equipment earlier in levels. Here, I have a level 1 reactor that is blue. I am going to attempt to turn this purple. I have enough power or and I have all the required pieces. First, I'll drop the core into the center and we will be able to see the gambling odds.
Once it is added, you can see you'll have a 50% chance of blue and a 50% chance of purple. To demonstrate the odds, I'll change some material colors and you can see how the odds change as the materials change. Let's return everything back to purple and gamble on upgrading this piece. Remember there is a 50% chance that it will convert to purple. The color is still blue. It was not a successful gamble. Players often time have to gamble on the same piece multiple times before getting lucky and successfully converting. Here's a tip. If you are gambling on upgrades, the materials on this side are far more difficult to acquire. It is much easier to gain the parts on the left side. When you gamble, make these pieces your higher level materials, and then make the right side the lower color. Your chances will be lower but you will have more opportunities to get the upgrade. Plan which equipment pieces you will upgrade. Most long-range players upgrade radar first for the long-range attack bonuses. For mid-range players, the reactor is usually the first choice. Understand the benefits of each piece and upgrade to suit the needs of your city. Finally we have extensions. Extensions are similar to the 8 core pieces, as they can both reach level 6. They carry the same color grades for strength and you acquire pieces to build them. Collect these items in order to build and upgrade your extensions. Of course you can also purchase these items. You'll have to upgrade your equipment to unlock all three extension slots. Once you do, each extension will add significant bonuses to your city. Another tip, as you grow your equipment, as you upgrade pieces and components, get yourself in the habit of shutting down your equipment and then bring them back online. Sometimes after changes the pieces do not come online until you power cycle the device. As you grow, you can track your progress from here.